And what's up guys, my name is Bacon here and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a 400 ghost As you can see I've got one right here, but I want to get my Kingslayer shell to 400 as well As you can see it's only 320, takes my light devil down quite a bit And basically the way I'm going to be doing this is playing Archon's Forge But I make a mistake during this video that I don't keep my 400 ghost on Because when you get the ghost from Archon's Forge it's one light level higher so if I have 400 light, it keeps me at 400. It puts it at 400, but because I'm 393 and I forget to put my other ghost back on, it gives me a 394 ghost. So let's just head into the Plaguelands, and I'll see you guys once we are in there. And I'll show you the directions to Archon's Forge if you don't know. Right, so you want to start off from the spawn of Plaguelands, and to take out your ghost. Summon your sparrow and just follow the way I go. Most people go right, but I like to go the left way because it just seems a lot quicker when I go this way. So if you just follow exactly where I go, this is just, this is like for noobs. If you if you you could just skip past this bit and get to the actual Archon's Forge section, uh, you can if you already know where it is. But this is just me showing you guys how to actually get there. And this can also be used as a engram farming method, because if you just stay in there with a the team, you get that you get so many engrams at that point of playing that it's unreal. Because I played like two games, I think it was, and I got my ghost. It, it really depends on your luck. Uh, you will get one eventually. It's even an artifact or a ghost when you do get it. Uh, if you just you know you can see how I'm doing tricks, because I'm a cool kid. So if you just follow this exact direction. I don't know why I'm doing side boost things just then. This next section is very important. So once once you're here and you're at the entrance of Archon's Forge, which is here, I usually kill the enemies just because they're annoying otherwise. So I just take them out with my sniper right here. And the servitor is dead. Uh, so once you're there, you, want to, you can run to this door. But after that, you have to walk in. Because then it actually gives you, like, it spawns you in a server that has players already playing it. Which is why I'm walking. Because I've done it before, I've just ran in and it's me by myself. And I, who wants to do it by themselves, to be honest? There's too many enemies and you probably won't do it. As you can see, I see it, there's people in there already. So I run the rest of the way. Uh, it depends. If they're already in a actual event you have to unlock it with a splicer key which aren't that hard to get you have to just kill yellow bar enemies in the plaguelands or in the rise of iron story missions in general and as you can see here i'm just killing enemies do does what it says to do i spawned i came in at the right like as they finished it as you can see because i got the moat of light and engram which is good because now i, I need moat of light because i had none because i used it all to level up every single item i have but if you just continue watching, uh, I show all the loot that I got from the games I played because I just paused the recording and restart it once I'm about to get the loot. So if you just watch here, I don't know when it does cut it, but oh, um, I would say you get better loot for putting your Siva offering in, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, there's not many weapons I can say to use. I'm just using the weapons I use, which is the Outbreak Prime, the uh, the X, whatever it is, and the Sound and Fury from the raid. Just because I like those guns, the sniper is really good, the rocket launcher, and obviously the Outbreak Prime is good. So if you just continue playing like I am, like I, 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 I at this point I couldn't be bothered to play, so I'm just flying around killing enemies every now and then. And once you've like played a few games, you you're pretty much guaranteed to get a ghost or a artifact at some point. So you just keep playing like I did. I have no idea when it's gonna cut. I'm pretty sure it cuts after this one. But if you don't know what Arkham's Forge basically is, you, enemies just spawn over and over again until there's this big thing in the middle. This big like dome closes and opens once the thing on the top left says 100% there'll be a boss and then you take it out and then the if you have an offering where I open the door with the splicer key 
is where you place the offerings and you complete it really. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's 93% right now. It goes up fairly quick. Uh, if you have three of coins as well, uh, if it, that bit at the side, as you can see, it says fused servitor. If it says perfected servitor, you can use three of coins to get um, get exotic because he, he can drop exotics. So I would if I was you. But at this point, I think it's the end of this one and it will cut. But uh, yeah, I've shown you guys my loot that I got from the games I played. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'll just play, continue playing with a bit of music. The only reason I'm doing that is because I'm a bit of a I'm rambling on right now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.